Today, we will talk about what key rate duration is and how to calculate and use it. Key rate duration measures how the value of a debt security or a debt instrument portfolio, generally bonds, changes at a specific maturity point along the entirety of the yield curve. The key rate duration is used to measure the sensitivity in a debt security's price to a 1% change in yield for a specific maturity. For example, assume that a bond is originally priced at $1,000, and with a 1% increase in yield would be priced at $970, and with a 1% decrease in yield would be priced at $1,040. Based on the formula, the key rate duration for this bond would be calculated by taking the difference between the bond's prices and dividing by 2 times the yield percentage and the original price. Key rate duration is an important concept in estimating the expected changes in value for a bond or portfolio of bonds, especially when the yield curve shifts in a non-parallel manner. Key rate duration and effective duration are related with the sum of all the 11 key rate durations along the portfolio's yield curve equaling the effective duration of the portfolio. An individual key rate duration may be difficult to interpret, but comparing it across the yield curve and between different securities provides useful insights into the security's sensitivity to interest rate changes and help in making informed investment decisions. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The key rate duration calculates the change in a bond's price in relation to a 100 basis point, 1%, change in yield for a given maturity. 2. When a yield curve has a parallel shift, you can use effective duration, but key rate duration must be used when the yield curve moves in a non-parallel manner, to estimate portfolio value changes. 3. Duration measures tell you the price risk involved in holding fixed income securities given a change in interest rates. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.